Today I wanted to share with you the biggest mistake worship leaders make, and that is trying to do someone else's job. The biggest mistake that a worship leader does, makes ever is trying to do someone else's job. This, you, this comes across in two areas, the first on the stage and second off the stage. So how does this come across on the stage? Well, oftentimes a worship leader will think that he has to um, do an introduction to each of the songs, explain the songs, uh, give a little sermon in between every song, uh, interrupt the flow of worship to do a, a lengthy and, and, and off-topic prayer, not sticking to their job. See, the job of a worship leader is to lead the congregation in worship. That's it. Leave the preaching to the pastor. Your job is to lead the people in the music. How does this come across off the stage? Oftentimes, worship leaders think that they're more spiritual than the pastor, and so they try to correct the things that um, the leadership is doing that they don't agree with because it's not spiritual enough for them. Um, so they'll go around and they'll they'll do all these little things trying to correct the theology or whatever um, to make things more spiritual and all that it really does is just causes more conflict uh, between the leadership between the church um, a lot of times I've seen uh, the worship leader actually be responsible for a church um, split a church problem um, that usually is not resolved well and so so the biggest mistake a worship leader ever makes is trying to do someone else's job